Okay friends, to get started, the first thing we have to do is remove our door panel. To do that, I'm going to start right here by removing this Phillips head screw. The fork tool and remove this. Now we're going to use our trim tool, come underneath the front of this area here and pop it up. Let's remove the wiring from the back. Let's come right underneath this area with a pocket screwdriver. I'm going to pry this apart and then lift this up and out. It's always a good idea to check your electrical connectors. Make sure you don't see any corrosion. If you do, it needs to be dealt with. This looks great, so let's set it aside and continue. There we are. Remove that. All right, now the next thing we need to do is get underneath our grab handle. You're going to find a mounting bolt right here and then a second one right there. Let's remove the pair. Now let's continue on with our trim tool and we're gonna come in between the door panel and the door itself. I wanna make sure I use a plastic trim tool because of course I don't wanna damage my paint. Slide it in between and then gently pry away. Once you have it so it's starting to break free, you can carefully pry it away from the door. There we are. Let's go ahead and lift this up and get it out of here. Now that the door panel's off, we can continue on by removing our inside door handle. You're gonna notice that your mounting screw for it, it's already out because of course you took out that bevel. The next thing we wanna do is go ahead and grab onto this and we're gonna slide it towards the back of the door or rearward. I'm gonna hold it like this and then press. Now we can remove it from the door panel itself. And now of course we'll start removing our rods. Go ahead and press right down on this tab right here and you'll notice that it comes unlocked. After that, you can grab the rod, slide it out of its corresponding hole, and then do the same to the other one. Just pop that off of there. Okay, friends, now it's time to put in our brand new handle. Let's go ahead and line up our rods with where they belong. I'm gonna start with the longer one here. We'll slide it right down in there, and then of course, lock it in. Now we'll do the same to the other one. Slide that in lock it in. Now we're just going to push this right up against the door. Once it's completely flush, we'll slide it forward. Perfect. To put on the inside trim panel here, let's go ahead and grab the wiring, pull it through right here. Along the top, you're going to feel that you have a lip right along this area. It needs to fit over this right here. So come up high and then bring it down low. Now that we have it down, Look inside and just make sure that all your little pitons are lined up with their holes. Once they are, just go ahead and push it in. Let's put this on. If you were to look at the backside, you can see it has a little hooky do here. That's going to need to slide underneath this ridge. And come in at an angle, slide it under, and then press this in. There we are. Now we can start in our mounting screw and snug it up. Next we're going to come underneath the grab handle and put in two of our mounting bolts. Make sure that's nice and tight and do the same to the other one. Let's put in our little piton. Now it's time to get our switch on here. Okay, double check them all, make sure they're secured. Something you want to pay attention to is this area along here. It's a little hooky do, needs to slide underneath this. Once it's under, go ahead and push this down and lock it in. Now let's test our inside door handle. I'm going to lock it. Perfect. 